I'm Dream Rockwell and I'm the artistic director of Lucent Dossier Vaudeville Cirque. When Lucent Dossier first began, it was New Year's Eve 2004 going into 2005, so two and a half years ago. Somehow or other, I wrangled together 20, I think one or two performers. Helios Jive crafted the music for us, they're incredible. We did the whole show in white. It was pretty magical. Something happened, you know, that night, I think. The people responded to it beyond what we had expected. I think a lot of the, the dancers thought, oh, this is just a one-shot deal, we're gonna do this New Year's Eve thing and that's it. But in my heart, I always knew that this was like the vision that we could build a community together around performance. I have amazing people. Most of them have been around since day one. Aaron and Roger and Sarah and Lisa and Dana and Rajiv, Fernando. We have a lot of performers who have never performed in their life before and they basically just came up to me with a lot of passion and said, I always wanted to be a dancer but my mom wouldn't let me take dance lessons. That's how it originally started with a few professional dancers but mostly just people that really, really wanted to perform with all their heart. I met Josh and Jesse and they're identical twins and we started the Do Lab together. When we initially started the Do Lab, in my mind, I always thought it was going to be a event creation company that had a performance troupe. But Josh and Jesse are lighting guys and they're really into, you know, props and building these huge environments and they weren't really so into the performance stuff. So I just felt like, okay, my soul needs to fly and I really need to get back to dance and back to performance. And so um, that's where Lucent Dossier came along. The Lucent Temple is inside the Do Lab, and the Do Lab builds all our props and our environments and sets for us, and we're totally a team. We're two separate entities, but we're not. We're all one, aren't we? Lucent Dossier is a creative collective. It's all about play and staying in flow and not crafting beyond the moment. Everyone's input and everyone's grace and beauty and creativity and mad thoughts that bring it all together. Can we make a really strong decision about when we're doing the contortions and the hits come in? We've done it two ways, which is looking up and looking at the audience. I think looking at the audience is really sketchy and really awesome. Okay, let's do that then. I try to say yes to everything that comes. Like People make suggestions all the time and some of them are are redonkulous and I just say yes, you know, we go with it. Wait, did I use that word? <laughs> hey, that's, you know what? I like that. Can you do fix? Like, that should be the way you walk. Flex the feet. Flex the feet. Like this. If somebody wants to step up and do something, you want to direct a show, you want to choreograph a piece, you want to sew a costume, sure, let's do it. You ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, five, five. One, two, three, four, flip, flip. You're gonna yeah. hold the split longer, so that way we have time to get to holding each other's toes, and that way we all come up together. Performing is fun and great, and I'm really interested in inspiring people to think outside the box, and I think that we do that. But I wanted more. I wanted to contribute more to the world around me, and I wanted to be just more active in something really inspirational. We are searching for a lawyer to help us set up a nonprofit. Cuddle the world. <laughs> I get a phone call from someone and he's like, hey, tickets to Guatemala are $88 each way. Do you want to go? And I'm like, yes, Guatemala, they probably have orphanages there. And then I sent an email out to the list and I said, this is my flight information. We're going to Guatemala to start Cuddle the World. 15 of the performers booked tickets to go to Guatemala. I'm getting chills. It was so amazing. We just took all this stuff down there and performed for the kids. Estamos muy alegre visitar Guatemala. brought them all these costumes and showed them how to dress up and how to interact and play with each other. There were 
43 kids in the orphanage and we took down 43 teddy bears and snuggle blankets so that when we left, after we were done cuddling with them, they had something to cuddle with. We're opening up their imaginations so that they will be able to think more creatively. I think that we live in a world where it's always like, what am I going to get and what's mine? And I used to think that way, I think. I, I would hate to say that I did, but I, I, I'm sure I did. And now I feel like I'm really trying to bring in like gratitude, like just being grateful for everything that comes my way, no matter how big or small it is. And that combined with always reaching for our highest joy and highest excitement, if you put those two things together, you can handle anything in life. We're here to make you smile. You are the light that shines. We'll fill your day with magical intention. Where the loose in Gossier.